Hello once again ladies and gentlemen of the Winner's Circle. Welcome back to some more Paranautical Activity. I decided to give this game another shot because I'm really horrible at it and I'm hoping to get better. I want you guys to witness it as I get better and I'm sorry, I know, the screen's cut off. I have to run it in a windowed mode because I'm running on a really crappy computer but hey, I'm trying it anyway. But we'll go to play. Once we get into the normal game it looks better but I'm going to go with the tank again because that seems to be my best class to play as. So let's give it a shot. And hopefully we can make it nice and far. Not entirely sure how how far we'll make it, but hopefully you guys will be alright. If we die really fast, um, we can just oop, try again. I got a lot of time in this game actually, so I'm quite sad with how bad I am at it because I've got probably 30 hours or so, something like that recorded. Probably more than that actually. I just wish I was a bit better at it, but of course you wish you were better at every game, I'm sure. There we go, we're fighting the whale first, but this is always a weird pickup for me, because it gives us a lot more health, but you have to sacrifice your speed, basically, in order to get that health, so... I guess we'll go for the health and hope that we can get a speed upgrade somewhere, because we'll definitely need it, maybe like a... Sea legs, or maybe just some Adderall, or whatever it is. Or we might just die before we can even beat them, so we'll see. Okay, he's down. Let's take these guys out. Oh, the guy hit from the other one. Okay, they're both in front of me. I like that better. Die, jerk. There we go. Wow. So we'll get the Wab Lover, for sure. And, uh, okay, we got better health, lower speed. And I think there's a health over here. Is there? No, that's just, uh, what the battery does is it recharges your, um, secondary weapon or your little special weapon. And here in the first sale we got a Tesla coil, laser rifle, and, and Gilead's gun. I'm not sure what the Tesla coil does, so I'll just pick it up. And it increases our super weapon charge, which unfortunately I do not have a super weapon, but maybe we can find one later where that will be better for us. I think the increased charge, I think it actually doubles the amount of ammo you can hold. So perhaps we'll just pick up some more ammo along the way and hopefully utilize it at some point during this playthrough. And maybe you guys can give me some pro tips in the comments because whenever I play this game, I like to try to clear like every single floor or every single room on every floor to um, try to maximize how much money I have so when I get to the shops hopefully I can buy something really good. But I guess we'll see. Oh god, not this guy. So I'll have to take that guy out first. Okay. Now this guy, I have no idea really how to fight, because all those homing shots are really scared to deal with, that, actually. But we will take out Gilead first, just to make one less shirt to have to worry about. Alright, perfect. Now he's shooting a bunch of stuff at us. I know one of the pro shots of the game is to kind of hug the wall, basically. It's supposed to make those shots. They like circle around you, so if you stay close to the wall, they'll actually hit the wall and break apart so you don't have to worry about them chasing you around. And let's see what we get. We get, oh, a piece of eight. So speed and damage up, which is really nice to get that speed up since we just got something that lowered our speed, so not bad at all. And this floor is already done, so let's move for the next floor. And honestly, I have no idea how many floors are in this game because I've never beaten it. I've never made it to the end boss, so maybe one of these days I'll get a successful run in the recording or on YouTube for you guys so we can see my improvement as we go along. But I wish I was moving a little bit faster. I'm not sure if I'm back at base speed yet, but hey, it could be a lot worse. Let's get this extra ammo here just in case we get that supercharged weapon along the way. And on to the next floor. Perfect. So at least we survived the first floor together. That's good news. Floor number two. And in case you guys didn't know, this game was made by Scooter and um, Travis. Scooter's real name being Mike Malbeck, but you guys probably know him better as Scooter. He is actually a YouTuber and does a Twitter thing, so I'm not sure, I don't think Travis does um, YouTube, I know he has a Twitter as well, so I will link both of those guys in the description once again, because they're both really good dudes, making a fun game, the game's still technically in beta, but it's got a lot more content than it started out with before, I described that in my last video, there's a huge update that basically doubled the game's content just about, 
and the game was already amazing before. It's even more amazing now. And they did some balancing, so some enemies you used to see on the other floors are now scattered on different floors, I think, to balance the uh, difficulty a bit more. So that works. And I'm sorry if you hear my laptop chirping in the background. I really need to get that taken care of soon. But moving on. Still haven't found our boss room. Still haven't found the shop. We really haven't found any of our most important rooms yet. So hopefully we'll come across them pretty soon. And maybe they'll all be clustered together and we'll be lucky that we don't have to run too far to find each one. Okay, took out the tent chief. Alright. Perfect. Alright, moving on to the next one. So not sure how big this floor is going to be. I don't mind it being nice and big so we can actually save up some more money. I believe there's a Gilead hiding on this room somewhere. There's actually two of them. That's right. Some of the level designs, like the room designs, I really like all the different um, shapes there are to all the different rooms. I'm just really bad in this one in particular, but I'm handling it alright. It's a really tough game, but it's a lot of fun. I know once I finally manage to beat it, if I finally ever manage to beat it, it'll be really satisfying, so I can't wait until that happens someday. But we did find our boss room finally, so that's good news. And I would like to find our shop to um, hopefully see what to save up for, maybe some good things. And we got, no, we got 10 out of 15 health right now, so maybe we can just go right into this boss fight and hopefully we will survive. Let's see who we're going to get though, it all really depends on who we get. And we are going to get double jump. These guys aren't too hard to deal with at all. Especially with the shotgun, we can make pretty short work of them. But these guys, uh, I think their names are Isis or Iris. Maybe it's Iris. Uh, they split into two, obviously, as you can see. Then you just have to take them out again. Not a hard boss. They're just difficult when they like run up on you and get in your face and then just pummel you with their shots. But we're handling them all right. So after this, we will get the double jump because I'm pretty sure... That's the only drop you can get from these guys. So we'll see how this is going. And I'm sorry if the game's not running entirely fast. It seems to be running alright, but like I said, my computer isn't the greatest. So uh, I will definitely make more videos of this when I get a better machine to be able to play it at a better speed and obviously even make it look better because I don't think I'm running it on the best graphics at the moment either. But here's our mini boss room. And we got this guy. I'm not sure what his name is, honestly, but let's take out the, um, Gilead while we can. Alright, he's down. Got our double jump. Try to get away from this guy. Not let him destroy us too much. And I don't know if he always drops the same item or not, but we will see what he's going to give us this time around. It'd be cool and possibly get a pretty decent um, supercharged weapon. I would like the uh, raz laser rifle. works pretty well. I like it a lot. But he gave us some vitamin C. I think that's more health up, which is really good. Alright, so we're basically a huge walking tank now. Sorry for the spittiness that sounded, but we are a huge walking tank now. We start off with um, more health than all the other classes. Now we're up to 17, so that's really awesome. I'm not sure if the health does cap in this game. I've never survived long enough to figure that out, but we're doing very well in health, and I'm hoping this shop will have Adderall or some kind of speed upgrade so we can move a lot better. We'll actually swap our battery for assault because, like I said, the battery is for super weapon recharge, and we obviously don't have one of those, so it's kind of pointless to hold on to that power-up. This power-up of assault will help us if we get into a tight situation because we will start attacking even faster and cranking out more DPS so we can try to get through the room if it's about to kill us. Now, I'd also love a damage upgrade as well. That'd be nice at this point. And I do like on the map how they've changed it a little bit where stuff now leaves markings so if you ever forget money or maybe there's a heart somewhere and you can't really remember what room it was in, well now it's a lot easier because it's right on the map it'll let you know exactly where to go. So they've done some really good things with the upgrades in this game, or the updates, not upgrades. With the updates to the game, they changed it a lot, and it's really amazing. If this game is on Steam still, it's been on Steam for a while, so definitely go check it out, guys. And give it a shot, you won't regret it, I promise you that. Alright, moving on. Okay, so 
so that means the shop has to be to oops i didn't mean to go in here it has to be through this door it's got to be around here somewhere it can't be too much further away and we found it okay so he's got to clear out this room and we'll be all right so that's down we actually got a shield finally i think that was our first shield that we've picked up so far but all we gotta do i think you're the last one we gotta kill buddy and nope there's someone left oh over here and let's see, hopefully, like I said, we'll get a nice speed upgrade in here. We've got a lot of money, but some items are really, really expensive. And we get a choice between Super Ammo Boost, Blowfish Gun, or Horseshoe. Um, I really don't know what to pick, so let's actually go for the Blowfish Gun, because that is a super weapon. And, uh, yeah, it's really useful, because we got the super weapon and the double ammo for it, so... Hopefully this will help get us out of a lot of tight situations. I believe the blowfish gun does some damage when it hits and also damage over time by poison damage. So that's really good. I'm happy we got that. And let's go on to the next floor. We're doing alright. Not bad at all. And down we go. To level number three. Alright. Why not? Let's start going straight. Oh god, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, they also added some noises to some enemies, like that thing that you just heard hissing. It's those little jumping, exploding guys. I don't know their names. I wish I knew their names, but they get close to you, they explode, they kind of sizzle before they pop. Let me see. Oh, okay, there's two of these guys coming after me. That's why I've been getting hit so often. So one down. Where's the other one? Okay, you're up there now. Perfect. Kinda got blocked there, but thankfully that thing didn't circle around to hit me. Oh yeah, this is a, a map with the lava. I hate lava so much. Lava always seems to get me killed in this game. It's really tough to do with at times. But here we go, moving on. And there's our shop and our boss room. Oh god, he got right in my face. So I'm hoping we can find um, a heart power-up to get some health back. But maybe in that room we'll get lucky and we can get... Um, Maybe our Adderall to move a bit faster, or, I don't know, we can check out what's in there. Maybe something good. Maybe a health box or something like that. We'll see, though. Like I said, I'm pretty bad at this game. I wish it was a lot better. I was doing pretty well until this floor. I started getting stomped. We've already got the Blowfish gun. Blowfish and then the Bloody Doubloon. Um, those are decent items, but why would I buy the Bloody Doubloon? when well that would help for the next shops but yeah i really won't oh god not this guy not this guy not this guy not this guy oh god he's gonna kill me oh yeah he killed me for sure oh boy that was bad so we'll do a quick restart and i don't want the video to be too too long but why not i'll mess around with the gordon it actually seems like a really good um Really good weapon to have. I should have pulled out my super weapon, I know that. But this is a really strong weapon to use. The strongest weapon in the game, but as you can see, you have like no health, and I already got stomped. Wow. So we'll give it one more shot with the Gordon, because that was my fault. I kind of ran right into him without actually aiming properly. So yeah, there's a lot of weapons in the game, and you just got to find which one works best for you. And wow, we actually killed something. I'm proud of us. Well, I actually killed something. I hope you guys are proud of me too. Oh god, no, 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 no. That was scary. Okay, so let's see what they drop for us. Oh boy, we're in trouble already. Wow. We're moving really fast though, that's a good thing. I'm just not used to moving this fast when I use the tank all the time. Please stop trying to attack me. Please, just just like lay down your arms and let me live. Oh yeah, there's definitely a range on it though. I couldn't get it far enough and I got nailed. <laughs> But I'll show you guys the other classes so you guys can tell me what you want to see me use next time. This is the Gordon. You can see the stats here. And also we got the tank. This is one I use mostly because I can never survive long enough. Then we also have the David Bowie. The uh, Dynamite comes with the Tenchi Sword. And the Gilead Gun. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Like I told you, I'm very bad at the game. I'm working hard to try to get better at it. So if you guys are enjoying the series and enjoy this video, please leave a like and favorite. It helps a lot. And also let me know down below in the comments who you want me to play as next. And maybe some tips to help me out, like which levels to clear out completely or to just kind of level rush it all the way straight down to the boss. I don't know, just let me know. Give me some tips to help me get a little bit better. 
and subscribe to become part of my winner's circle so when the next video this comes out you guys will be notified and all my videos for that matter and I hope to see you guys next time and as always everybody have a great day